Hey everybody, I'm Nicholas from Leftover Content, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we had a nice, wonderful—I wouldn't say nice or wonderful about it—but we had a uh, we had a time over in the autumn side of things. And in this episode, it's time we explore a little bit of a chillier side of Click Clock Wood. Click Clock Wood. Now that we're nearing the end of Click Clock Wood, and even the end of the Let's Play, really. I want to talk about how much fun I had doing this and really playing it. I've done YouTube videos for a very long time. Heck, I used to do them on another channel that was called Leftover, or that was called Shadow Kirby 41. If you go there and search that up, you'll find some very cringy videos of a young me. But besides that, I've always loved doing this, and it's just hard for me to maintain a schedule or be interested in a game long enough to even beat it. That being said, I know... Yes, that's right, swim under there. I see water takes double air. I know my Let's Plays aren't probably going to get too... I, I know they're probably not going to be, you know, good or anything. What am I trying to say? Famous or anything. But I'm just happy to do these videos for fun, and I have a swell time doing it. Cool. I don't usually get visitors in winter. Be sure to come in here to grab the first honeycomb piece. Only one last honeycomb piece remains. So, I really do appreciate for any views that I've gotten, for anyone who've actually watched this series at all, even if it was just for like a minute or two. There is an extra life under the ice over on the right side. However, I'm actually a bit too scared to grab it. If I die, I don't want to have to recollect every single note and do everything all over again. So we'll try for that extra life after I've completed this world. And again, that's another system that was in Rusty Bucket Bay. No, not another system that was in Rusty Bucket Bay, but it even was taking the double air all over again, which, you know, who can forget that polluted water in that world? It's literally the most terrifying thing. Coming in here, Mambo's on vacation. You hairy fool, come back in spring. I want to talk about this. There's an unused uh, on vacation sign for some reason. A lot of people like to believe that this sign was originally going to be used for to clo for Mumbo's skull. That it was going to get closed off with a door and that it was going to say on vacation. If we come up here, we can grab the last Jinjo. And I hope all of you noticed throughout this entire world that each Jinjo has represented the season that they belong in. The blue Jinjo in winter, the orange during uh, autumn, the yellow during summer, and the green and pink to represent a flower in spring. We have the Mr. We have the Mr. Slushes return once more. So be sure to take them out as one of them is hiding a Mumbo token. And it's this one. I believe only one of them hides a mumbo token, so we're just gonna grab it. You don't need to kill them all for anything. And I forgot, I neglected to mention that there's only five mumbo tokens in this world, so there's only two left. And it's the only part. You may have noticed that there was fly pads underneath the one, uh. snare bear that was in, uh. over here. Don't hit the wall. Well, that snare bear has since moved. And we can get to the fly pad now ourselves. You can you can even uh, high jump up into it. You have no reason to really grab it, so we're just gonna fly up to the bee. We need to fly up to the beehive because it does have something there that we need. Well, we don't really need it since we've gotten every transformation. It's just another mumbo token. Nothing too special, but hey, there you go. There's a total of 115 mumbo tokens. As we've stated previously, and there's act and there's a, the alleged 116th Mumbo Token. Can I get out of this? That uh, I also collected. If you've grabbed every Mumbo Token in the game, God dang! I said dang, YouTube, not dang. If you grabbed every Mumbo Token in the game, you should end with a total extra of 141. However, I think people still consider it completed, even if you end with the 40. Because of the 160th Mumbo Token being slightly elusive. Coming up here, you cannot enter 
the treehouse now. However, do be sure to high jump up here. Some people say that you need to fly. You can just high jump up here. And if you're quick enough, you can actually start talon trotting. Like that. I didn't grab these first notes uh, my first time coming through. So I actually missed them and was wandering around the map for like 20 minutes trying to figure out where these were. I'm just going to do that to break my fall. Get rid of this guy. And the bridge is, well, ice physics. Be careful trying to get up here. And you might have saw the witchy switch that's down there where the uh, shock pad jiggy was. We'll be trying, we'll be getting that later. But what we need to do now is, why don't we break and enter? You can break the window leading into Nabbit's home, but you can't break the door. In case you need a few collectibles, there are golden feathers, eggs, and even red feathers, I believe. No reason to come in here other than these collectibles. Not nothing too important, but I want to get up here so I can grab these red feathers. And you'll actually find out that Nabbit has a cute little girlfriend. I'm gonna admit it. I like the color pink, so if something's colored pink, I like it a lot more. But that's just so cute. That's so cute. They're hibernating together, and I love it. I love this game so much. Coming over here, there is a... Oh, hey, no, stop. Please, Toby. My cat is messing with my wires. If we come over here, there is a fly pad that we can use for a very convenient purpose. You might have noticed that there that there's this window up here. Well, you can actually break it open as, ba as Baron Bird. Hey, you butt. And you can fly in there. I don't think there's too much in here except for... Yes. There's only one thing in here that you want to grab. And even if you're doing a casual playthrough, I still highly recommend that you grab all of the honeycomb pieces in the game. I just recommend it. So, do that. If I can get up here. There are two enemies in here, but they can mostly be ignored. And then you just jump over here to grab the last honeycomb piece in the game. And there we go. We have we have a brand new maximum amount of health. I said it once and I'm saying it again. I really do like Clock Clock Wood, despite all of the problems it's giving me. I still love this world. It is still a fantastic world. And despite its flaws, like I I, I think that if you Oh, okay. Uh, before I finish that, that's actually the last mumbo token in the whole game. We've grabbed every single mumbo token possible. If we come over this way... There are a few notes for us to grab, but why don't we go visit this eagle that we helped raise? Eerie mighty eagle at last! Watch me as I fly into the sky! I have reward for bear friend. Here, here it comes. He will poop out the last jiggy that, the last jiggy of this world. Uh, one thing that I did want to mention is I haven't talked too much about all the beta elements in Banjo Kazooie, and that's because I have a video planned after this, like a bonus video, where I plan to go in depth about certain things in Banjo Kazooie that we found. Like, basically, I'm going through the Cutting Room Floors website and looking at other rumors that other people posted. Basically, a big old video as like a large Digino you know gaming sort of thing for Banjo Kazooie. There are four notes left to grab, but before we do that, why don't we check in here to see if there's an extra life? Which I don't think there is. I think this is the only time in Click Clock Woods. With this area, I hate you. I hate your placement. It's bad design. Get out of here. Where this section doesn't have an extra life. Indeed, it does not. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. It does not have an extra life. I believe it's the only time this place doesn't have an extra life, so there's no reason to come in here. So that said, let's just get on out of here. Grab that gold feather, because this is going to hurt. Oh, dang, that hurt. I 
Anyway, I'm gonna take to the skies, grab the witchy switch, and try to find these last four notes. Well, I found the last four notes immediately. It is right above Mumbo's hut, and there is a fly pad right there, so you can easily just take to the skies right there and just fly straight up. I didn't realize it was right there. I knew they were near something and a little spread out. Oh, jeez! Oh, no. Okay, good. That worked out very well. Let's take to the skies once more and grab the witchy switch. Oh, uh, and I got him with the snipe. Be sure to hit the grunty switch, and that's it for Quick Clock Wood. That is actually everything. This will make an this will make a, a jiggy obviously spawn in the Quick Clock Wood entrance room. And with that, I believe that's everything here. Well, we still have that extra life to grab, so why don't we go and attempt to grab it? I do have a theory on how we can grab it. My thoughts on how to grab this are pretty straightforward. Simply try to get it through Naughty's home. And while I was swimming, I couldn't help but notice that Kazooie's, uh... The tip of her feathers started getting, uh, white. I don't know if that was a glitch with my emulator or not. And then we try to swim back. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. Ah, uh, we tried. That extra life is really hard to get, and I don't recommend going for it. And I don't count the extra lives towards 100% completion anyway. Now, you might be wondering why I'm going into spring one last time. Be sure to leave Click Clock Wood as a bee. This is something I actually forgot to do on my initial playthrough, and it is really important that you do so. So enter Spring one last time, and enter Mumbo's Hut. Outside the level as a bee! You can fly straight up here to get an extra life. My next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail. On that I'll bet. If you fly all the way up here, you can see that the last Jiggy that we spawned is actually up here. With that, that's all the Jiggies in Gruntilda's Lair, too! And if you remember correctly, there is a note door over here. Mumbo magic get weak. Mumbo magic run out. Next time on Banjo Kazooie, who knows what awaits us in Gruntilda's hardest world. See you all next time.